Hi Nev. Yeah man. Nice to be back again training with you after a while. Of course. Always a pleasure training with Nev. Always intense training, the best. And uh, honestly, that was a very good, I mean, after ages, still, I mean, it's still intense, still. We know Nev Brown, he's been my trainer for the last three years, one-to-ones with him. What I am today, even my vlogs, being comfortable about boxing is because of this gentleman here. He's been like a father figure to me, like an older brother, mentor, all in one. You know, I could not ask for any person better than Neville Brown. He's, he's just, you know, as much as I, as I praise him, it's never enough. Just a humble, down-to-earth person. I mean, a blessing to know a person like him. Best trainer I've ever trained with. I can't ask for any better. Best at his game. Nev, it's always a pleasure training with you. And like I said, the best at his game. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, I feel the love. I feel the love. Thank you, man. Yeah, so that's what I'm looking for. That would be me going with the big hook. You can see it. And then yeah. offline, you can read. Yeah, that's it. Walk block, yeah? Do the block? So two punch. Two punch. Two punch. So if I step up, I, I kind of show you what I'm doing. Yeah. And that does that. That's a reaction to the move. Yeah. I'm going to aim where your head was. Okay. Right. Two punch. One, two, one. So this, I'm exaggerating by going around there, so his eye will catch that shot. Yeah, touch, strike, touch, strike. Right, Neville, uh, a lot more views followers know you, some may not know about you, so can you just give that little introduction about yourself, how you got into boxing, and about your career, about your past life, what you want to share with us? I suppose boxing, it was, I was always an athlete as a child, um, school I struggled with, and, uh, but in this, the science of the sport, in the world I was in, and it was um, athletics first, judo, and um, then my friends one night, they disappeared and I couldn't find them on this Tuesday night. You know, you hang out at age 12 looking for them. And the next day I said, where were you guys doing? Oh, we went to this gym. It's boxing gym. It's amazing there. You've got to come. So the next session was a Thursday evening. So I went along and uh, I was introduced to boxing. So sometimes I always say I fell into the sport, but actually there was so much to learn about myself through the game sport. The art itself taught me that. As they say sometimes, you go in a boy and you come out of a man. And I think that's what happened with the boxing world. I went in there, it was never an easy ride. But um, I meant uh, I met uh, a father figure like um, a chap called Mickey Lynch, who was like a father figure to so many of us. And I think at the time in our life when we probably needed some direction. Not that we were bad children anyway, but we could see the system that was out there. Was, was was nudging us a certain direction and um, we weren't having that. And the fact that we had boxing, it, it took us out of the house and it took us to a place where we, had, we were mentored basically. And uh, the boxing disciplined my discipline. It taught me how to hold my own in life. And that's when I fell in love with boxing. So I normally have my uh, wraps on. Doing any kind of pad work or boxing, yeah? Yeah, it does. That's right. So, so we'll, we'll pretend. <laughs> yeah, so I make sure when they put the Superman's in the gloves, I never do that without. Yeah, because I want to make boxing. I would never wear, I'd always wear a gum shoe, I'd always wear pad protection, just because 
protecting this tissue. Danger. I know you've been asked all Leo Tyson, yeah? I want to ask you, in me, I've been training with you as an Ollie and as a Tyson. Who do you see more in me? A Tyson or an Ollie? Tyson. Tyson, yeah? Tyson. <laughs> Never seen Mike Tyson in me. Even though I used to do the Ollie Shuffle as well. <laughs> but you know what? It's a pleasure. You know what? I've, when I've been a kid, I, I know a lot of people say Ollie, but I grew up watching Mike Tyson. And you know, my, uh, Neville Brown, obviously a boxer himself, knows obviously he knows about boxing more than I would do. And if he's saying that, you can see Mike Tyson in me. I'm mean, gonna want more privilege on the color field. Right, they're, they're, these, they're the models, aren't they? They're, they're the people models. look up to you. You gotta remember, I came from a time when I never really saw positive black face on TV. Yeah. That's really scary when I look back at it. MTV had no black artists. It was like you don't, you can't. Today it's, it's a different world. When Michael Jackson came on the scene, I'd never seen a, a black face on TV with so much positivity. Yeah, that's right. And Muhammad Ali had the same type of pull. It, the, obviously, the media is saying something bad. Boxing, bad. He's, he's the loud mouth. He's an uppity, so and so. And yet, what he stood for. I think he was probably Muhammad Ali was probably he was clearly bigger than boxing. Yeah, he was definitely. because of what he did. Whether he's the best boxer in the world, or that's down to debate and people's opinion. But as a man, what he stood for, who he was up against, the, the, the governments and the, the, the times where people couldn't drink from the same drinking yeah. fountain, we couldn't use the same toilets. It was a disgrace, a human disgrace. And what he did, he helped break that down, probably bigger than most people ever did. And that's why Muhammad Ali has to be far, in, in any aspect of sport, Ali has to be the biggest. Yes. Mayweather, no, you made great money, you made this, that, the other. They are great in their own rights. But what Ali stood up, it was bigger than boxing. Yes, he was, you know, Tyson yes. was big in boxing. Mayweather is the biggest thing in boxing. boxing yes. But what Ali did was to bring boxing to the stage and let people see what we were about and he brought a new he brought money into the sport he did. in some ways the yes. guys getting paid today i've got to be thanking ali for that yes. the entertainment today you got to be yes. thanking ali yes. for that the, the rights to walk the streets go on a buzz all the rest of these things he was part of that so you can you can't put another man on that same yes level. trust me the art of love <laughs> love not war what I am today, how I am physically, mentally, this gentleman here, trust me, big place. Well, you did it, man. I, I did it, yeah, the I know, but You did it. Remember, I did say, not every boxer knows how to train people. I've trained a lot of people. Your training, the way you explain stuff, the way you mentor everything is unique. I'm telling you, I learned a lot from you. In fact, I learned more than what I thought I was learning off you. Good. It's an open book. Thank you, sire. You're welcome. <laughs> I hope to see you soon again. So yeah, do like and subscribe my channel and follow my journey. Let's get this going.